Your name, please? My name is Scott Richardson. All right, and you do? <laughs> um, I work here at Misericordia as the uh, director for the Diversity Institute, okay. and I'm assisting my colleague here with the camp. Okay, your name Hi, is? my name is Erica Casa. I am the Multicultural Student Outreach Coordinator, as well as this year's Diversity Camp Director. Okay, great. Now, can you both tell us a little bit about the Diversity Camp this year, maybe uh, how long you were here for, some of the things that you were involved with, uh, whatever you'd like to give us in terms of detail. This is the 14th year of the camp. Um, it's a five-day camp where we have um, local and also near um, the IU schools come and sponsor them so they can come and attend the camp for five days and learn about diversity. This year we've incorporated in the curriculum um, the critical reading, English writing and literature, as well as the uh, technology information literature. Great. Uh, can you tell us about some of the other, uh, some of the benefits of working with a group like this? Uh, tell us about some of the things that were learned and some of the lessons. I think, I think one of the things that um, is most important is that we are exposing kids to a particular ideology that has them expand their current mindset. Um, and so we introduce them to many things um, in hopes that they'll become change agents and allies in their own communities. Good. All right. Um, anything else you'd like to add about the camp and about the experience? It's good. I don't know. All right. Okay. My experience in the diversity camp, this is my second year working in the camp, and I think it's nice when you see the kids and the transformation within the five days and how much they have learned and how much information they're willing to express about diversity. All right, your name? Hi, I'm from Marissa Hardy. And you're from where? I'm from Hardy. All right, your name? Uh, I'm Dylan Pegg, uh, and I'm from West Wyoming. Okay. Um, I'm Gerwin Bordeaux, and I'm from Wilkes-Barre. All right, and you? I'm Anna Michaelitis from Dallas. Okay, and can you tell us a little bit about what you did here in terms of uh, what you learned, some of the things you had fun with, and maybe some of the things you took away that you weren't expecting? Um, here we learned a lot about like how you need to respect other people as much as you respect yourself because everybody is human and you do have to you have to respect everybody the way you would want to be respected and how you have to be the shoulder for everybody when you need a shoulder and you just got to treat everybody the same because everybody is really the same and then like Scott was telling us about this one quote and it's we're not different than you we're different like you so it's a lot it was very emotional but I liked it it was fun. Thank you. Um, I've learned a lot here at Diversity Camp, and this is my second year attending this camp. And like, I learned a lot the first year, but being here made me grasp even more and keep it into my mind. Like, what really caught my eye was about the people who are mentally impaired, and it, it really hurts their feelings. Like calling them like names like retarded, and it shouldn't be said to them. Uh, I learned uh, that you should not judge people based on their sexual orientation. You don't really know what they go through every day, hiding from their parents and friends because they can't come out and they're afraid what they're going to say. Um, it was my first year at camp this year and I really wasn't sure what to expect, but I learned to, like, to always keep an open mind with everything that happens to you or to anybody else because you never really know what's going on and anybody else is like yours. So you always have to keep an open mind to that and make sure you think before you say. Sorry. 
are sharing your experiences with our family. We also need to be the shoulder for somebody else, and we really 
we are the same. And although we didn't know each other before this, we became good friends, and we will always be that children for each other. So I wrote a poem that I found summarizes everything we learned throughout this camp. And I really didn't know what title, title it went, so I just made it your dream to take the form, my friend. Do you ever feel like there is no one that gives you? Or if anyone has experienced the damage you've been through, like there is no one there to listen? One more time, if we could. Then. Mike McDowell, president of Misericordia University. Okay. Now, uh, can you tell us a little bit about what it means to the school community to help host a camp here and uh, how it's evolved in your tenure as university president? Well, it means an awful lot for us to have these wonderful high school students here in our diversity camp. We've run this for almost 14 years now, and I've been here for all but one of those. Uh, the program itself brings together high school students from a diverse community and helps them with college preparation skills as well as social and other activities that, that help them prepare for life and for college. But what does it mean to you when you see some of the students who have gone through this program maybe apply to the school later on, apply to other schools, and build good careers in college and beyond after this? Well, I always say that the best part of my job are the students, and it's wonderful to see potential students here, whether they come to Misericordia or any of our area colleges. I think we're richer for having them here. These are our leaders of tomorrow, and it's grand for them to see others who are similar to them, have similar ideals, and want to grow.